Hello and welcome to part one of the MongoDB lecture series. In this video, you'll learn a bit about what MongoDB is, how it works, and why you may want to use it for your projects. I'm Radoy Majumdar, and I'm the instructor for this course. I have many years of programming experience, and I've used MongoDB as a database for many projects in the past. I'm a professional, full-stack web developer with experience using technologies such as Node.js, PHP, and of course, Mongo. Here's a brief overview of what you can expect to learn in this course. First, I'll introduce you to MongoDB and the way that it stores data. Then, I'll show you how to install MongoDB on your machine. We'll spend a couple of videos together demonstrating both basic and advanced queries that you can use, do using MongoDB for handling your data. And in the last few videos, we'll build two web projects starting from scratch using Mongo and PHP. So, what is MongoDB? It's a non-relational database software built for agility and scalability. It was started in 2007 and it's maintained by MongoDB Inc., which is headquartered in New York City. Many major companies, as shown in this graphic, use MongoDB for their data storage needs. In recent years, it's become a popular database solution because of its speed and ease of use. MongoDB stores data as documents and it stores these documents in collections. Suppose that you're building an application for tracking the attendance of students in a classroom. For this application, you may decide to create a collection named Students, and each document in, that, in this Students collection can represent the data for a single student. Documents stored in MongoDB are in the JSON format. If you're not familiar with what JSON is, that's fine because it's very easy to understand and it's also very human readable. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. Objects in JSON start and end with curly braces and data is stored as key value pairs. Here's an example of an object. You can store strings like John Doe, or you can store numbers like 42 without quotation marks. And you can also store arrays. For example, this array of strings right here. You can also store objects within objects. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed watching this first video in the MongoDB lecture series. In the next video, I'll show you how to install MongoDB on your computer.